Today we're going to have a look at the Trend Microvision 1 connector for ServiceNow. We'll start by searching for this app in the marketplace so that we can install it into our ServiceNow instance. So we do a quick search for Vision 1. Click to enter. If this is your instance, you can execute the action of Request App and then install it on your service management instance. After successful installation, we should log into the Service Management Console. In the sidebar menu of the home page, we need to find the Trend Microvision 1 connector. Now we can go and configure the integration. The first step is to jump into Properties. To obtain the necessary credentials, we'll jump over to Trend Microvision 1 Console. So we go to Administration Third-Party Integration and click Trend Microvision 1 for ServiceNow ITSM. Then click the Copy icons to obtain the required management IP address or hostname and authentication token. Now we go back to the ServiceNow console and paste them. Endpoint address and token for Trend Microvision 1 API are a must. Others are preferred to configure on demand. The remaining settings are related to the ServiceNow incident, prefer to use existing values. Otherwise, the values may not be set. For example, if the assigned to is set to a user which is not a valid user in the system, the value will not be set. Finally, we click Save. Note that after successfully installing the add-on, ServiceNow begins syncing Workbench alerts from Trend Microvision 1. The initial synchronization pulls only Workbench alerts created within the past hour. You may need to allow some time before Workbench alerts start to appear. Soon, we can open Alert or Alert datasets to view synchronized alerts. You can also perform your actions such as close on these alerts. Okay, that's a brief overview of the Trend Microvision 1 connector for ServiceNow. It can allow you to view and resolve Trend Microvision 1 workbench alerts directly in ServiceNow IT service management. We hope to see many customers take advantage of this.